Hello dear chess friend, welcome to another metagame chess strategy lesson, today we're going to learn one of the key elements of it, we're going to look at a new topic that I haven't made a video on, and before I do so I would like you to pause the video and think on your own, how would you proceed here if you had the white pieces? A lot of the times when we have to consider and make the move, we think of our own offensive tasks. We think how we should develop the pieces and completely forget about our opponents. What are his ideas? What are his plans? Obviously white is much better here. We have old Benoni opening here where black decided not to think ahead with the bishop and close the center with c5 and e5. And because the pawns are on the dark squares in the center and he controls a lot of dark squares with those, he doesn't control the light squares with the pawns. So the dark square bishop, would be called the bad one as the light square bishop if he had one would be considered the good one as it covers those light square weaknesses that he has created now if you just try to develop your pieces and follow the general principles and the rule you make black's position just a little bit more comfortable to play for example say we play bishop d3 say black plays bishop e7 and you just cast on try to look where the position goes and then black plays bishop g5 now, not only he is looking for exchanges when he has less space, but also he exchanges the worst bishop, the worst minor piece he had, and is exchanging the bishop that white is considered the good one because the pawn structure is on the light squares. So, looking for what opponent does want to do, what is he planning on offensive task, what are his ideas to make his position a little bit easier, is one of the elements that you, and things, factors that you have to implement into your thinking process. And here comes the prophylaxis topic, really, really underrated topic, I would say. And the best way to proceed here is how the player with the white pieces did. So not I'm gonna show you what he played to prevent this plan of blacks, but also how he won the game comfortably later on. So he starts with the move g3. Now this move is not to fianchetto, but actually after bishop e7 to play h4. Now this square is under control and black is unable to exchange the dark square bishops. So here black castled, white developed the bishop with d2 and b6. So black is not intending to create any offensive plan in the near future. So white plays knight d1. He can comfortably remaneuver his pieces. That's the advantage he has when he will have more space. But only, not only that, because black doesn't have his light square bishop, f5 becomes a chronic weakened square where the knight is going to help us to pursue our main plan. The objective is to attack the black king. That's one of the reasons why white also didn't want to castle. The rook on the h1 will help us to attack the black's king and we're going to use the h-pawn as an opener of the h-file so knight d7 was played knight e3 knight f6 and now h5 so winning even more space advantage space advantage is when we restrict opponent's pieces knight goes to h8 knight to f5 so finally our pieces are coming to the king side attack and also we're going to use that as an opener so here Black played rook a7, trying to overprotect the seven rank, and white plays h6, and white uh, simply black resigned. So the main tactic is due to g6 if played, we have takes. Whatever he takes with, we follow by bishop e7. Now, if you take with the rook, I can just take and have an extra piece. If you take with the queen, I'm gonna win this on the next move. Again, if you don't take, then um, I consider and the next move of whites to be played here and again joining exactly same line so it didn't take long for white to win this game hope you enjoyed the topic of prophylaxis hopefully i'm going to make some more videos on that you can consider of hiring me as your personal online chess coach my contacts are on the right i hope you're going to stay healthy continue loving the game play chess and enjoy okay see you tomorrow in the next video